Have a lovely day. Welcome to this new tutorial. Your Italian teacher is here, and today I'm going to uh, give you tips for the prepositions. Uh, also, with my students, I've seen the prepositions are one among the most difficult, if not the most difficult, topic. Uh, because every language uses them differently. So, today I'm going to give you uh, tips to learn them uh, more easily and more effectively. So, um, let's start with the first thing. As I mentioned, um, they are used differently in each language. So, um, the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that you can't automatically translate them from one language to the other. Um, so, um, for example, it is true that um, from, the preposition from, in Italian you can often translate it with da, but that's not always the case. Uh, so, um, there are some uh, general guidelines, if you want to call them, so um, some general way of translating them in a language, but you can't um, automatically translate them like that every time you meet them. Um, so this is the first thing to keep in mind. Um, then, second, what can really help you learn them, and especially in Italian, is thinking about which questions you want to answer. Um, so, when we learn the prepositions in, um, in Italian, um, even, you know, as children at school, uh, what we are taught is that um, uh, each preposition answer a specific question, or um, each question is answered through a preposition. So, um, each preposition gives an idea conveys an idea or a message. So, for example, the preposition di um, gives an idea of um, quality, for example. Um, or you can use so you can use it to talk about the material that something is made of. Um, so. For example, this preposition a can uh, answer the question to whom, for example, or directed towards where. So keep this in mind, it's very important. Just think about which question you want to answer and based on that, you will know which preposition you need to use. So this is the basic tip that you need to keep in mind. Um, and the next uh, tip, as I always say, keep practicing. So keep using the language, keep reading in the language that you're learning, like in Italian, in case you're learning Italian, or listening to stuff in Italian or in the language or the language that you're learning. Um, because that will get you used to the prepositions and to how they are used, because sometimes um, the prepositions are used just because they are idioms, and so you just need to learn them. There is no actual why, and you just need to learn them. And so keep at the language, keep practicing the language. That's also the other fundamental thing that I will keep repeating. So, and the last tip, so the last thing that you need to keep in mind, because I see that um, can be confusing, I've seen that also with my students. Uh, so what you need to keep in mind is that sometimes the prepositions are decided by the verb. So uh, sometimes uh, there are particular verbs that require a particular preposition. And so you need to um, remember that sometimes. So, sometimes it's not only the idea that you want to give, but it's also the verbs that decides which preposition you're going to use. 
So what you can do, is, um, apart from uh, you know merging yourself in the language, practicing the language, is also checking on a dictionary, because they will mention, um, or at least a good dictionary will mention um, which prepositions you can use uh, with a specific verb, or which prepositions are required with a specific verb. Um, so those are my tips and the final message for this video, so the message I want to end this video with is that don't get discouraged. Prepositions are difficult, will always be difficult, uh, but don't get discouraged because with practice you will learn them, they will become easier, they will come to you naturally. I can guarantee you that. Just keep at that and it will get into your system and at a certain point you won't think about that anymore. You will just use them. Uh, it's always a matter of keep practicing. So the beginning as always is difficult. At the beginning you will be confused. You will have many questions but if you keep at it, it will get way better. I can guarantee you that. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you find it useful. Thank you for watching. As always, if you have comments, questions, feel free to post them. And see you next tutorial. Ciao, ciao!